Hi everyone, I am back. We are going to get ready to read a book. Um, I told you that we have a new season. It is spring, and so this book is about spring. It's called Mouse's First Spring. And look, even one of the letters is a flower. Isn't that funny? So this book is, uh, the author is Lauren Thompson. That means she wrote the book, and the illustrations or the pictures were done by Bouquet Erdogan and I'm not sure I'm saying Bouquet's name right but at any rate um, Bouquet did the illustrations which are the pictures so let's open it up and see what happened in Mouse's first spring so here's a picture right on the first page and what can you tell from this picture look at the curtain here it looks like a windy day, doesn't it? Also, I see flowers, so that tells me it's not winter anymore in this picture. Let's see. So, one windy spring day, Mouse and Mama went out to play. There in the grass, Mouse found something glittery and flittery. What can it be, wondered Mouse. What can it be? Hmm. Look, said Mama, a butterfly. If you guessed butterfly, you were right. Then, whoosh, blew the wind, and fluttery buttery, the butterfly, flew away. And there she goes. There, under a leaf, Mouse found something slithery and slimy. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Hmm, what can it be? Take a guess. What do you think that is? Look, said Mama, a snail. If you guessed snail, you were right. There it is hiding under the leaf. Then whoosh blew the wind and Heidi insidey, the snail, hid away. He was hiding. There on a branch, Mouse found something feathery and plump. Plump means it was a little fat. Let's see. Can you guess what it is? What can it be, wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, a bird. If you said bird, you were right. It's a bird. Then whoosh blew the wind and dip, flip, flap. The bird darted away. That means he flew away really fast. There by the pond, Mouse found something green and beeping. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Take a look, what is that? What is that? Look, said Mama, a frog. Then whoosh blew the wind and splishy splash, the frog hopped away. There he goes in the water. Goodbye, frog. Look how you can see there's Mouse and Mama and look down in the water. That's called their reflection, their reflection. You can see their, it's almost like their picture in the water. There in the dirt, Mouse found something pink and wiggly. What can it be, wondered Mouse. What is that? Look, said Mama, a worm. If you said worm, you are right. This is a good time of year to start finding worms if you're the kind of person inclined to do that. Uh, then whoosh, blew the wind and squiggly squeeze, the worm slid away. Goodbye, worm. There on a stem, Mouse found something sweet and petally. Petals are these things around the flower like that. Oh, I gave away what it is. What can it be, wondered Mouse. I gave, I gave it away. Look, said Mama, a flower. Oh, that reminds me, the parts of the flower, because it said there's a stem. That's this part that's right here. These are the petals, okay? There's a leaf 
which you can't see down below are roots. We're going to talk about those a little bit more uh, here coming up probably next week. Then whoosh blew the wind and rumply bumply mouse tumbled away. Oh no, be careful mouse. Oh no. Then all around mouse felt something soft and cuddly and oh so cozy. What can it be, wondered Mouse. All of a sudden, there's something all around him feeling cozy. What do you think it is? Smooch came a kiss and ooch came a hug. It's me, said Mama. Aw, his mommy gave him a hug and a kiss. Spring is here, little Mouse, and I love you. Boy, that book gave me some great ideas. You can go out in your yard and find some of those things too, I bet. Let's see, what was there? There was a, um, a butterfly, there was a bird, there was a snail, there was a frog. I don't know if you could find frogs just yet. A flower, all kinds of things you can go and find in your yard because it's spring and um, it's time to look for great stuff like that. So that's our book for now. I'll be back in a little bit to do a couple other things. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.